Hey guys, so tonight I want to try something a little bit different. I have here my wonderful trackball. This is an Elecom something. I don't know, that's the model number there. I bought this a little while ago, probably a few years now, because uh, I wanted to try out using a different, different style mouse at work. And, you know, I wanted to give it a little bit of a trial run before I requested that, you know, they purchase one for me. Because, you know, you can do that, by the way. And... You know, if you if you work all day off of a computer, the the whole moving the mouse around like that isn't exactly good for you. At least I wasn't digging it. Anyway, I bought this. I love it. It uh, worked out so well that I just never ended up taking it home. And um, except today, apparently. But I wanted to try something a little bit new. One of the chief complaints with this Elecom mouse is that the buttons are ridiculously stiff. Um, you know, really hard to click, so on and so forth. For the most part, they do break in. Um, I'm sorry, my mouse is a little bit disgusting. I haven't cleaned it in a while. I guess I'll take the time to do that in a little bit. But um, for the most part, they did break in except for the left and right tilt on the wheel those haven't broken it at all and I, I guess after like a year and a half two years of use if that hasn't happened by now it's not going to happen so I don't know figured let's try something out I bought these here these are kale silent mouse switches and if you're familiar with the micro switches in a regular mouse you probably notice that these look quite a bit different uh, however, the footprint and, you know, all the important measurements should line up just about the same. So it should solder in the same and it should, the actual clicky part should line up. But you notice this thing, nice, loud, nice, clicky. There's nothing from this. That's as designed. These are supposed to be silent. So I figure we'll try it out. Two birds, one stone. I'll kill my... Uh, I'll unplug that so I'm not just taking it apart while it's plugged into something, but I don't know. I really like this mouse. I recommend it if you, uh, excuse me, if you do a lot of work on the computer. It's pretty nice. You don't have to get rid of your regular mouse, too. I'm just going to use a little bit of hot air to soften up the adhesive on the bottom. I'm pretty sure all the screws are hiding underneath these rubber pads. Unlike a regular mouse, I suppose it's not that important that these go back on straight, because this doesn't move around. But, when I have the opportunity, I like not destroying things. I'm just going to peel all these off and stick them to something. Pretty sure there's a screw under each of these four pads. Oh, might need more heat already. And don't worry, I'm not going to turn into a uh, trackball channel. I'll trackball all day. Yeah, more heat would have been good. Too late for that one, though. But, you know, I figure I might try out something every now and then. And these are JIS screws, not Phillips, but whatever. Works the same as long as you have the right size driver as long as you're careful about it. I do want to try out one of those new Elecom trackballs though. It's the Deft Pro or something. Is there one under this? I hope not. I don't feel anything. There might be one right there. Since it's not coming apart, I assume that's what's going on. Shit. Oh, 
Oops. You're not supposed to drop your uh, heat gun. Ah, oh, I ripped it. But there was one under there. Interesting that it's a uh, paper label. Would not have guessed that. Alright, it's still not coming apart. I don't feel any other screw holes though. Live, watch me break my favorite mouse. Well, not live, but I'm rendering a video to upload right now, so I can't really do anything else. Well, that's not true. But it's a darn good excuse. Oh, you know what? There is another screw, screw hole I missed. Probably the only one. Yep. Oh no. Okay. Now it should come up. Come on, why aren't you coming apart now? Like it's latched or something. There we go, I hope. Well, if I break this, I suppose it's just a good excuse to get the mouse I've been looking at. Alright, it seriously feels like there's another screw, but I don't see where. This is... there's no stickers. Oh, it was just a really stubborn latch. Whew. 
not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. Okay. So that is the right click there. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Throw those everywhere. Okay. Let's set the rest of this mouse aside for now. So, see those two legs line up right there, and the click is right in the middle there too. So we should be good to go, hopefully. Just got to get that desoldering. These are actual Omron switches, so I'm going to try and save these if I can. No idea how to desolder these though without ruining them. Not ruining something. See if this is even lead free solder. It is not. I don't know why I expected it to be. A nice glob of leaded solder. Nicely. Not gonna lie, did not expect that to work. This might be a good job for the solder sucker, not the wick. Well, it worked on that hole. Let's trim this off. Try again. And there we go. All right. Now that should go in there, like that. Actually kind of clips in, that's pretty cool. It's probably going to make it more difficult to remove, should I decide to remove it, but what the hell. There's that. I don't think there are any buttons on this part. Nope. I see two buttons that I could potentially replace. Oh wait, maybe not. Probably just the one. Yep. Well, that's a shame. It's not even the buttons that I wanted to replace. It's these two that are problems. Oh well, I'll still replace this one, see what happens.
I'm gonna plug this and make my life so much easier. Okay. Luckily this PCB is marked up nice so I don't have to review the footage and figure out which where where that goes. I think that's the only button they can replace for the moment. I'd love to replace these two with something better, I guess. These ones are fine. But, well, okay. I guess I'll be back in just a minute here. Well, a minute for you, a little bit longer for me. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and clean up all the cracks and crevices because this thing's kind of gross. So I'll be back. Alright, so I have finished cleaning it out and I am almost finished reassembling it here. I just wanted to stop here and pick up the video to show off a couple things. First, these two screws hold in this side panel here. So if you are taking, if you do have one of these and you are taking yours apart, leave these two screws in might make it a little bit easier to just get the top cover off um, and then all of these individual screws in here are just holding the buttons in but let me get the USB cable in here and we should be good to go to reassemble and test it out I just wish I could have done more buttons than only the uh, the two there the left click and right click but Eh. Such is life, or something along those lines. I think that might... No, that doesn't go under there. Okay. I did... Uh, I even cleaned out the ball cup. But the part I was struggling with... Is this latch right here. There's a real big hook right there. And it looks like there might be another hook right here. Otherwise, this thing is held on with latches, or screws, excuse me. The tolerances in this thing are absurdly tight. It's, it's amazing. I kind of feel like I didn't pay enough for it. It was only like 30 or 36 or something like that. It was in the 30s. Usually, trackballs... It's kind of a niche mark niche market. So they're usually like a hundred bucks or something. Which I guess that reminds me there's this new trackball from Amazon that I've been meaning to try out. It looks like a late model Logitech clone, but it's also only like twenty-four bucks. So if it's complete garbage, well oh well, it's twenty-four bucks. But it's not out yet, or at least it wasn't a couple days ago. I haven't checked recently. But there we go. That is reassembled. Let me go ahead and plug this in, make sure I didn't kill it. That first one wasn't a USB port. Whoops. So, still seems to work. I have no scrolling though. 
That can't be good. I have no clicking either. Oh, never mind. That's apparently just my browser that crashed. <laughs> That's cool. I don't have scrolling in anything? What? Alright, well, I don't know what the hell's going on with my laptop. I don't really think I broke this, because it's still not scrolling, even with it unplugged. But, I mean, listen to how quiet that is now. And this one, I wasn't even sure if it was clicking. But that's that. That's the right click. And that's the left click. It is... It lives up to, these parts live up to their motto. Oh, now I get scrolling. I guess it decided it was done doing whatever it was doing. Um, absolutely highly recommended. This is, I might start swapping all my other mice. It's the uh, perfect amount of tactileness, I think. And the fact that it doesn't have that stupid annoying click, too, it's pretty nice. I just wish I could have done these ones. But the left click and the right click are still... That's just absurd. Alright, so I'm thinking I might swap the mouse I've been using with my laptop here. It's, uh pretty dim you can't see because the lights on but it's one of those ooh, that's disgusting isn't it um, razor naga mises I believe the scroll wheel has a double click issue so swapping out the uh, the button here should solve that too but yeah just listen to that in comparison Okay, anyway, I think I might swap out my Razer Naga as well. Uh, let me know if you want me to make a video for that one. I'm planning on also swapping out the LEDs, so that one's going to be a much longer video. Because that's not an RGB mouse, that's just green, I guess. So it's just a G mouse. Um, but I have some white LEDs that I was planning on swapping in. Because I much prefer white over green. That razor green is not very uh, aesthetic. Let's just put it that way. I think white would be better. I don't know. I'll I'll see what I have, and we'll swap that. But let me know if you want me to make a video for this. I hope this was entertaining. I know it's not my usual topic. It's not a Game Boy, but I don't know. It's something I've been meaning to try out, and I think it's pretty cool. And maybe you guys think it's pretty cool too. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.